Hi everybody, this is Kevin from KeysGardenSecrets.com and today I want to talk about HARP and the Large Hadron Collider in CERN and their connection to the pentagram grid that I described in earlier videos. So we'll start with HARP and I just want to start with the interesting fact that uh, HARP, uh, well this isn't an interesting fact, but they, it's known as the High Frequency Active Oral Research Program. I haven't really read much about what they're doing, um, like the official version. Uh, high Frequency Active, well, we can talk and figure it out, but that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to show here is that if you draw a line uh, from HARP between the apex and this cross, um, a, one other leg of the pentagram and then you draw this distance it's actually equal to the golden ratio to within one percent so this yellow distance is one over five times the whole length of the line and if any of you are familiar with pentagrams you realize that the pentagram is all about the golden ratio so you can look that up for yourself so that's an interesting placement for it, right there. And so we'll zoom in on it. And I'll just add a couple lines here. As you can see, HARP's laid out in a rectangular grid. And so I took the direction off of two of these lines to see where they led to in both directions. And it turns out they lead someplace interesting. This line on the left heads off to the northwest um, corner of the pentagram. And this line going towards the south goes towards Hawaii. So, and I tried to be as accurate as I could when I was taking the direction just to see exactly where they went. So, um, that's where they, so they're 90 degrees to one another and one points into the top of the pentagram, one points into Hawaii. So, I'll just show you how close that it gets down here. gets within 56 kilometers so that's where it is it's still pointing towards Hawaii clearly and then how close it comes to the northwest corner it comes within I don't know 12 kilometers or something 11 kilometers maybe exactly 11 kilometers Wouldn't that be something okay well, the number 11 has seems to pop up all over the place. So now that we've seen what HARP is all about, um, I want to head on over to the border of France and Switzerland to CERN, where they have the 27 kilometer, I um, can't remember if it's diameter circumference, large hadron collider where they See here, you can see a blue and a red, and they run particles in opposite directions and then crash them together. And these are three places where they do the crashing. CMS, ALICE, ATLAS, LHCB. And there's other things going on here that won't concern us. So for clarity, I put on my own stars and uh, you can show the labels. So the ALICE, the LHCB, the Atlas, Alice, and the CMS. Well, we're concerned with just the Atlas detector and the CMS detector. If you draw a line through the both of those, it defines a heading that we can follow to the other side of the world. Let's just do that.
if you notice we come back to the world pentagram and the line goes right into the tip of the pentagram. Notice it follows that ridge of islands that we identified before right down. And here it gets within, oh, seven, eight kilometers from that point. So that's very close. And then where it crosses through the top, it also comes pretty close to the point where the harp line is coming in. And you can see those two cross right over top of that island. So here, how close does the line get? 120 kilometers. It's a ways, but it's in, definitely in the vicinity. You can go to CERN, back to CERN, and draw another couple of lines. because there's the other um, collision points that are producing events that could be lined up with the CMS detector on the other side, as you can readily see here. So these go all the way back to our vicinity of the world. One of them goes to close to Harp over here. I mean, I guess it's not that close, really. How far? 254 kilometers. It's around there. Note that there's uh, Mount, Mount McKinley, known as Den Ali. The other place it goes to is, I mean, the other line goes right to right between the epicenter of the earthquake and Fukushima, the disaster caused by the earthquake. So that's within 69 or less kilometers or so. So that's quite a coincidence. This brings me to the next line of the tour that goes very close to Fukushima, as you can see. It also comes very close to Harp, the point we're familiar with there, and it ends up at, you probably have guessed it, the International Peace Garden where the line, um, yeah, that says it all, Fukushima via Harp. So it's coming off one aspect of the octagon. So if you go up at an angle of, what is it again? That would be 315 degrees bearing, then you'll intersect those areas. Just one more line. That's all there is. So, um, without further ado, there's this line coming from Hart that extends off of the grid in the other direction, in the opposite direction of the northern corner. So I, I traced it down. And it goes down to the Gulf of Mexico. And the lines right by the, where the Mississippi comes into the Gulf there. So that concludes my tour of lines. There's one other energy device that I know of that's located in Australia. It's the whole. Naval Communication Station.
and I've overlaid the fruit of life with the uh, Metatron's cube inside of it because of the way these radio antennas are arrayed. They're arrayed in hexagrams that have all these relationships I've traced out in the colors between them. And I didn't even trace them all, I was just tracing the, uh, the hexagons that look like cubes. It really looks like a cube in this place. So that reminds me of the hypercube uh, that's related to the, to the flower life. So this is what it looks like without the, um, the colors. You can see the, the roads and shapes of hexagons and big tower at the center. So there's towers all over the place and um, forming all these hexagrams. So this is the whole Naval Communication Station. And I, this is Speculationville, is where I'm headed here, but I think it's um, all the sixes down here that are creating um, sacred geometry are doing so with radio waves at frequencies that uh, are affecting the pentagram grid in some way or attempting to. That's my speculation and it's just because it's the six above, as above so below, the six and the five of the um, this hexagon array and the pentagram grid that I've been researching and also knowing about the star tetrahedron supposedly inside of the earth that Mauna Loa on Hawaii is the, one of its points that um, yeah, you can see my blog post about it a little bit. I'm not going to get into too much detail, but that's my speculation. So thank you for watching. And I've just pre presented some facts in this uh, video. And you can draw whatever conclusions you like. I have my own speculation just now about Holt, but these lines go where they go. So I appreciate you watching. Please check out PeaceGardenSecrets.com. And uh, remember to live in an with integrity to the truth and wisdom that you'll find if you seek it. Thank you.